I have a new scent for my hair. It's because there's people who like sniffing my hair. But it's because I like using products that have beautiful scents. And Hello, it's me again. If you are new here, you probably have no idea why I said hello, it's me again. Welcome if you're new here. If you like what you see, remember to subscribe to this channel. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming through. Make sure you've clicked on that notification button. That way you'll always be notified whenever I have a new video. Today I am doing another monthly favorites. It's been... Yeah, it's been a long time since I did a favorites video. I have acquired a lot of new stuff that I've incorporated into my usual daily, weekly monthly routines and i'm going to share all of them with you that's from my hair my body my skincare which i know i am failing at right now but it's because i've been super 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 busy to the point that i haven't even been taking care of my skin but i am getting back into that i have some beautiful lipsticks that i bought and some beautiful lipsticks that were sent to me that i've been loving the last couple of weeks and you know what I am going to stop raving about all these things and just tell you what the hell I got. So I have different um, sections. I have divided them into hair, body, skincare. I have one thing that is just out of place, but it's because I really loved it. And then I have makeup and lipsticks. Like, <laughs> yes, lipsticks are separate because they're that many. So let's start. I The first thing I picked is this beautiful Carl's Unleashed by Ors. It's a sulfate-free shampoo in rosemary and coconut. I have been loving this shampoo. What I love about it, the first thing is that it's actually clear in color. And two, it forms really well. And three, it does not dry out my hair. Have I mentioned that my hair is 4C hair? So, you know, if you have 4C hair, you know the struggle with it feeling super dry. This has really, really helped since I started using it. And it's actually formulated for natural hair. I love things that are formulated for our hair because it's not you trying to figure out where you fall in, but it's actually meant for you. The next thing that I picked is from the same company by Ors. I think that's how you pronounce it. It's O-R-S. So I just say it's Ors, right? I picked this Curl Unleashed. Again, it's like the same line for natural hair. This is the Shea Butter and Honey Curl Defining Cream. This, if you've used a lot of curl defining it smells like um the first time i picked it i didn't like the way it smelled i hated the fragrance because i felt like it's it was more medicine like than it was sweet but then later on when i tried sniffing it again i was like it's actually not bad it smells like it's a very subtle fruity um scent and i really liked that so this is the shea butter and honey one uh, it's a moisturizing curl definition and helps with shrinkage. So it's, again, formulated for natural hair. It's really good. I really like it. Uh, the thing with this is don't use a lot of it. Um, it's It leaves this white, like even when you use very little of it, it leaves this white, um, not when it dries. You know, there's those ones that flake. This one is not exactly flaky. It has a white residue just when you apply it to your hair. I don't know if it's because the hair is dark. Because when I had the light purple hair, I wouldn't see it. But I'm guessing it's because my hair was really light at the moment. But when my hair went dark, when I went black, I see this white whatever. So I use very little of it. And then I mix it with a bit of aloe vera gel and a bit of what I'm going to show you next, which is castor oil. Organic castor oil. Well, if you are a natural lister, that's what we're called, right? Natural listers. If you are someone with natural hair, you've had amazing things about castor oil. Um, at, there's a time I was using the Jamaican black castor oil and someone advised me against it because it had some extra chemicals in there that were not really good for you. Because I am one of those people when I buy stuff and... I apologize to Nick a lot of the times when we go shopping. Anything that I'm going to use on my face, on my skin, on my hair, I tend to read I tend to read the ingredient list, like things I'm going to eat and stuff. I, I check out the ingredients and when I think it has a lot of stuff in it, I'm like, bye. 
I don't think I want to use you. Or it's more of, can I live with using that many chemicals in one go? So the reason I really like this one, this is by Fushi. And I noticed they have a lot of natural oils. So if you want to pick up some, check them out. Um, this one, the, the ingredients in this one are actually just organic virgin castor oil. That's it. It has nothing else. It's just castor oil. It doesn't have any extra chemicals. This is probably something you guys use. I don't use this. This is the first time I picked. This is the Cantu Live-In Conditioner. I think it would have a better scent, just saying. I'm a scent person. Um, it is because I like using products that have beautiful scents and then when they are all combined, it makes my hair smell edible and I love that. So this is my first time using the Live-In Conditioner by Shea, by Cantu. Alright, um, the next thing that I've been loving is a combination of two products. Um, the first thing is I hardly used, I've, I've hardly ever used uh, body scrubs. I usually just use facial scrubs, but I never really have tried any scrub on my entire body. So I picked this one by Senta. It's almost over by the way. It's almost done. That's how, how much I've been loving this. This body scrub, it's an oatmeal. Um, oatmeal oh, it's an yeah it's with it's made out of oatmeal so it's it softens and smoothens away dryness I love it and it smells nice and it's, it's oatmeal so and I um I've been using this around three to four times a week sometimes uh, when I'm in a mood but I at least make a point of using it at least twice a week right and it's really been helping with my skin because I, I noticed that I have I don't know if I should call it hyperpigmentation not just on my face but like all over my body I have parts that are darker than others like on my arms my legs and this has really been helping because I've, I've been using this to get rid of dead skin because we all know what body scrubs are for and then in partnership with that I picked myself some pure shea butter this one is by Yaka I got this from I don't know the guys like what shop <laughs> what the name of their shop is because i bought this when they had that open air market at sarit and they told me they're there every tuesday so if you want to get yourself some get this if you've ever used shea butter that smells weird because i have i actually have another container of shea butter i hate it because it has like tiny particles and i don't like the way it smells so when i picked this one up it just smells like shea butter. It doesn't smell weird and I love it. I've been using it all over my skin. I've been a coconut oil girl for so long, but I picked this up and I'm loving it. Like my legs are enjoying this shea butter. I'm also using it on my hair, but not a lot of it, just a bit. I also want to test it out on my hair and see how that goes. So those are my products when it comes to my body. Um, the eye serum for farming and regenerating there's a time i was hardly sleeping hardly drinking any water i was so busy this stuff came through for me because it really reduced the puffiness under my eyes the next thing that i picked up i got that from healthy you the next thing i picked up from healthy you was some vitamin e this is liquid vitamin e i use this on my face yes i actually use it i use it even um i mix it up with my day cream and my night cream when i wear that and then the other thing i picked was dr organics this is not by dr organics this is by now the company now then i picked the dr organic tea tree oil pure tea tree oil i've been using this for my blemishes especially no really he's playing with my beauty blender this is not your toy really messed it up so I picked this tea tree oil that has been, I had like a lot of blemishes on my, on the sides of my face. Like these are my problem areas and my forehead. And this has really helped in lightening up those pits, pits, <laughs> those spots. <laughs> All you do is just dab it like on the spot and then just let that sink into the skin. And it really, really helps. Um, the one loner thing that I have that does not fall into any other category per se is this nail polish. Oh my God. This is, I think this is the second time I'm talking about Palm Nail Polish. Palm is a Kenyan company. It's actually a local company. And their nail polish is... 
this is the third one I've bought from them. I got, the first time I got, I got a black one. I don't remember. It's called, I think it was called Giza. I think, I'm not sure. Uh, this purple nail polish. This is like a nice, beautiful, I don't even know what to call it. Like this color. It's like a purple magenta type color. It's called Sarabi. Like I'm waiting for you to sink in. Sarabi, like the band. This beautiful, this is, this, I got this from Beauty Cosmetics, Super Cosmetics. They stock their um, nail polishes. So if you want, get yourself one of this, support them because their stuff is actually legit. If you are looking for a really good matte top coat, buy theirs. I got theirs last time and I loved it. Um, I bought a couple of things. The first thing that I'm really, really, really loving is my beauty blender. Please excuse it. It's dirty. It's because I used it to wear my, my face. So I got this and then my cats played with it and they... <laughs> My cats are evil sometimes. So this is an original beauty blender. Uh, this is this was the packaging. Um, the funny thing about this beauty blender is when I got it, they actually sent me a knockoff beauty blender. So I called the lady and I was like, you sent me a knockoff beauty blender. And I was like, there's no way in hell I'm about to spend 3,500 shillings on a knockoff beauty blender that I can get for 500 shillings, okay? So I was like, nope, it's not legit. Please send me back my money, refund me. Then she was like, no, I got the shipments myself. And then she told me something about, um, cause she was at the coast when I was talking to her and her shop is in Nairobi. So she told me apparently there was a mix up cause uh, she do the delivery guys, that, that thing for just stealing products from one person. So stealing legit stuff and um, replacing it with fake stuff. So apparently that's what happened. So she came and delivered this to me, I think about a week and a half later and took the knockoff one. Cause I was like, the, he was not legit. So I understand. I, I contacted Madora, the one at Westgate and they told me they actually stock them and they're also cheap. I was so pissed off. Theirs are also actually cheaper than this one's. Um, so figure out like, if you want a beauty blender, get yourself one, talk to Madora, Confirm when their next stock is coming in and then get yourself one, okay? The next thing I'm going to talk about is foundation. I have actually before the foundation. Let me talk about what goes under the foundation. Um, last time when we talked, I showed you the my what baby skin by Maybelline, the primer. The other primer that I've been loving is this Rimmel Mattifying, the Stay Matte Mattifying Primer. It doesn't make my skin feel like super matte, but I love it because it really, I feel like it really works well with my skin, especially my T-zone, my oily areas. It really, really does come through. So if you can pick yourself one, be sure to. So on to Z foundation. I got this Z foundation by Z Maybelline. So <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking like that. Uh, that's how you know you're tired. Just saying. So this is the Maybelline Matte Poreless Fit Me Foundation. And my number is Coconut, 355 Coconut. I have been loving this particular foundation. I really, really do like it. And this one is for normal to oily skin. Then the other one that I got was the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Pro Matte. This is actually the one that I'm wearing today on this skin the thing about this foundation that i'll tell you is that it dries really fast this is a it's a matte foundation again my number is 112 coco so if you think you're my skin tone uh, if you use beautiful bronze in black opal or nw47 or five i'll confirm I'll, I'll leave that below in mac then this ones might match your face as well uh, as i was saying pro tip not pro tip 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 <laughs> a tip on this particular one is don't use it with a beauty blender it dries really fast so and don't apply it all over your face then try to you'll be left with spots and then you'll have to be like oh i'm trying to blend it 
use a brush with this particular one i tried it with a beauty blender it was a disaster i had like psh, i had to clean my face and then just do it afresh with a brush not today like the first time i tried it but i really like it it stays matte for very long um it's really good and it doesn't have a lot of oil now lipsticks hey <sighs> where to start um i'll start with this huda lipsticks i've been liking them or oh, huda not the global company the local one by huda monroe yes i said huda monroe she has a lipstick line i, I got three of her lippies sometime last month and by the way if you're new here i am addicted to dark lips sorry uh, but that's is who I am. I like dark lips. I'm just crazy about them. So I got these three colors. The first one is the African Sauce, which is more of a brownish nude-like lipstick. And oh, all her lipsticks are matte. Then I got Nemo, which is more of a um, dark maroonish red. And then I got Zuri, which is more of a purple-ish color. So I really like them. Um, sometimes I feel like they leave my lips a bit too dry, but I like the color payoff and they're cool. I also like the packaging. I like the gold tops and the fact that you can see your your product, you know, so you don't get like lipstick that's just almost running out and you don't know. Hmm. Now let's talk about Imara Beauty. Oh my so Imara Beauty is a new company. I'm going to review this lipstick separately. It's a new company, um, African-based company that will be doing products for African women. And uh, it's by our very own. It's someone from Kenya, so to say. So, hi, Sana. So, um, they sent me this lipstick. So, I have um, four lipsticks from them. Uh, again, remember that rule about dark lipsticks. Yes, I'm crazy about dark lippies. So I'll start with the darkest one. This is called, oh, and the naming system is so cute. This is called Voodoo, and it's like a very nice dark purple. It's, it's beautiful. It's actually what I'm wearing. I'm wearing Voodoo, which is like the darkest one I got from them. They have a couple. This is not all they have. And then I have a button, which is the lightest one I got. I hardly wear any nudes. And I wanted to give it a try. So I got this and button one. And I'm like, this is a crazy nude for me. It's those ones you wear and you're like, oh, did a clown just walk in? <laughs> but um, I, I wanted something to just, I wanted to play around with a nude color and see how that would work out for me. And to be honest, I'm liking it because so far I've mixed it with a couple of different colors and I like the way it looks. So these are the two lipsticks that I'm wearing today. What I love about these lipsticks is the way they dry. They don't dry matte. They do dry matte, but it's like a matte velvet finish. It's not a matte dry, I'm about to crack your lips up kind of drying. No, it, it, leaves, it has like a very chalky feel. They're very easy to remove. You know the way um, with every other matte lipstick, when you're removing it, you have to use like a baby oil or some type of oil. I remove this with nothing but a wet wipe. That's how cool they are. Then the other color that I got was, well, you know, I always got to get me a red, right? So I got a Betty Boo, which is this beautiful red. And I am loving it. It has blue undertones, so it makes my lips, no, it makes my teeth look super duper white. So by the way, if you ever want to give the illusion that your teeth are super duper white, wear a lipstick that has blue undertones. Your, your teeth will be, you'll be killing people out here. Then I also decided to go again on that crazy edge. I went with an orange color. This is Dabble. It's a nice orange color that I will also show you how I'm wearing it because again, it's one of those ones where if I wear it just like that, it's like, oh, what are you doing? So just saying, I'll do a full on review of this particular um, Imara lipsticks and then you'll find it here. I'll link it below once I do it, right? And yes, um, tech stuff. I am going to show you some tech stuff that I got. Not tech, but mostly for my YouTube channel. So the first, there's two things, there's two new things that I got to help with the sound. FYI, if you've not noticed that I've worked on my sound, 
a moment of silence for you. <laughs> like I've really worked hard on my sound. I wanted to improve my sound. So I got myself um, a Zoom H1 um, for a sound recorder. And to make the sound, a, uh, today just take it a notch higher. I also got myself a love mic. I'm about to get loud. Can you see this? Yes. Uh, so I got a love mic. This is by Boya. Yes. Boya, the company. I'll just leave all the information below. Actually, I have the information on my sound, what I edit on, and the camera I use as well as the lens is always in the description box. So if you have, if you want to know what I use for all this, it's down below. And yes, that's all I had. Yeah. Technically, I finished. Oh my God, this is a long video. But it is understandable because I have not done a favorites video in months. So of course, stuff has accumulated over time, right? So that's all I had. And I hope you like what I had to share. Have you used any of the products that I've mentioned? Have you tried any of them? How are they working out for you? Do you like them? Do you not like them? Are you looking forward to my Imara Beauty review? I was looking for that one. Review, is there anything else that you would want me to include in my favorites? Like for instance, if you want to know like some of the things that I'm loving in the kitchen, like when I'm cooking, that is also something that I can talk about. I don't know what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? So yes, <laughs> yes, uh, my funny. Yes, so tell me what your thoughts were on this video. If you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. If you loved it, subscribe to my channel. That way you will get to see more of this stuff. And yes, I promise to be... Oh, yeah. Do you want to know what I've been watching? I haven't been watching a lot of stuff, but I've discovered this new show called Dynasty and I'm liking it. There are only two episodes in. Episode three is coming out tomorrow and... I will be watching it and I like it. Yes. And again, now to finish the video, if you liked it, give it a huge thumbs up. And if you loved it, please remember to subscribe to my channel. That is all I have for today. And I hope I'll see you in my next video. Bye for now. Open eye, through the waves cut through me, hypnotized by the sounds I'm breathing.